Hey everyone, Alex here again with Stellar Finish Auto Detailing. Just a quick instructional video on how to properly dry your car. We're going to cut to the chase, keep it nice and simple, and show you guys how you can safely and effectively dry your vehicle. So we've just finished washing this car, and we have a microfiber drying towel. We don't want to use any chamois or hard cloths like cotton um, or an old bath towel. We want to stick to strictly microfiber for anything that touches your car's paint. And the reason being is microfiber is super absorbent, it's very soft, and won't scratch your paint, and the fibers help lift up any dirt particles away from the paint rather than scraping them all over the surface. So this is a really thirsty drying towel. It's a twist loop design, so it's got lots of surface area to suck up the water. So what we're gonna do is instead of putting it on and swirling it around, we're actually gonna flop the towel on and pull it right off. So just the weight of the towel is all that's pressing on the hood. And the reason we do that is, I'll demonstrate here, if we were to do this, we're actually going to put a nice pressure spot right on the paint. And if there's any dirt or grit in here, we're actually going to be grinding that into the surface. We don't want that. So we always want to, on flat surfaces, pull it across like that, let the weight of the towel do the work. We can do the same for the windshield. Sometimes glass takes a couple tries just because of how it holds water. And as you can see, that does a pretty good job of sucking up the water. We're gonna move it to this spot here and just drag it down. So that's how we dry the top surface of the vehicle. I'm gonna go over how we dry the vertical surfaces next. All right, so now that we've dried the top sides of the vehicle, being the roof, if you have a trunk, you dry the top trunk lid and also the hood. We wanna get the top surfaces done first, so we work down and let gravity work with us, not against us. So now that we've done those areas, we're gonna work on the vertical sides. And it's a little bit of a different technique I like to do. So I like to fold my towel a little bit, especially if it's a longer one like this. We don't want the towel to drape down and actually pick up any dirt on the ground and bring it back up on the paint. That's not a good idea. So we fold it to make it a little bit more manageable. And I'm gonna start on the glass here. And same thing, we're gonna hold the edges so we're not putting our hand right in the center. And we're just gonna let the towel do its little work here. Oh. We just triggered the door lock there, but we'll do the mirror, get that done. And then holding it like this, we're just gonna drape it down like a curtain, I call it. And that's gonna keep the towel touching the surface of the vehicle, but it's not going to put a big pressure spot. And you can kind of stretch it if you need to, to make it contour. And you just work your way along like that. The more surface area that your towel has touching the paint, faster it's gonna dry. And on certain vehicles that are larger, like a pickup truck or a really large SUV or a van, depending on the size of your drying towel, you may have to wring it out a couple times. Uh, we like really big, thick, thirsty towels because we can go around a vehicle in most cases one time without having to wring it out. So keep that in mind when you're buying your towel, uh, match its size to the size of your vehicle. Um, and that should give you a good opportunity to go around the vehicle without having to stop every panel and ring it out, which can be a little bit uh, of an annoyance. So we're gonna move along this back section here. Again, nice and easy. If you get to the bottom here, keep it nice and uniform. We don't wanna bring any dirt up from the bottom rockers up to the paint. Sometimes if it's really a really dirty vehicle and even after we've washed it, there could be a little bit of remaining grit. I'll take a separate microfiber towel and actually go along afterwards and just detail those areas a little bit better instead of using our nice clean drying towel to go on those lower sections of the car. So that basically goes over how we dry the surfaces of the vehicle. We're gonna go on to the wheels next and show you guys how we can dry those safely and effectively as well. Now, before we get to drying the wheels, there's another thing I wanted to go over, and that is using an air dryer or a leaf blower style dryer to dry your car. That is perfectly safe and fine, as long as the actual apparatus does not have any ability for it to suck up and shoot debris at the vehicle. So you wanna make sure that it has a filter of some sort. Those little battery powered rechargeable uh, blow dryers that you can use to blow your driveway off, 
or uh, your leaves, those are totally fine to dry the vehicle off. Sometimes they don't have enough uh, air volume to completely dry the vehicle, but they're really great for doing top areas. Um, if you have a little bit of trouble getting up on a ladder or um, doing the roof, they're really great for doing the top sections and getting the majority of the water off the vehicle. Uh, and they all are also really fantastic for doing areas such as the grill or little nooks and crannies um, like air intakes. Those can be a little bit harder to dry with a towel. They can require a little bit more work. With an air dryer, you're gonna basically go over it and it's gonna blow all that water out of those crevices and help dry those a little bit safer. Now, the reason uh, in the first place that we wanna dry our vehicle immediately after we wash it is because of water spots. Now, being here in Victoria where we are, our city water is pretty good quality. It's not very hard but we do have minerals in it uh, and a little bit of chlorine and other additives which can leave those water spot marks if it's left to dry without um, being removed. So we want to dry the vehicle pretty quickly after we wash the panel. This is a, a sunny day right now so if we were to wash this whole vehicle and leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes we'd come back. If it was a darker vehicle you would see some water spotting already starting to occur. So we want to minimize that because over time those can build up and become a little bit of an unsightly problem. So by drying the vehicle immediately after you've washed it you're going to keep your paint and other surfaces looking spot free and you're also going to have a nicely dried and ready to go uh, vehicle if you were going to be putting on any top coats such as spray sealants or waxes or any other chemicals like that you'd be ready to go after that point. So that's why we want to dry our vehicles. And like I said, you can use an air dryer, you can use a microfiber towel. There's two different ways to do it. It all depends on your preference and um, how about, uh, you know, you want to care for your vehicle. The thing with an air dryer that I will mention is they are touchless. So we will not have as much, if any, uh, chances of marring or scratching on the paint. With a towel, if it's a soft, really purpose-built drying towel that's made of microfiber, you're probably going to put a few little marks in it dependent on you know how old the towel is and you know how well your wash process went but it's very minimal and it will only show over time whereas an air dryer if you strictly air dry your vehicle you're always going to have a better looking paint job because you've never actually touched the vehicle we have to remember when we touch the vehicle there's a chance that we can scratch it or put some damage onto the surface so to minimize the amount of touching you can choose exactly what type of tool you'd like to use to dry certain surfaces of your car so i hope that uh, explains things a little bit better so let's get back into how we would dry the wheels after we finish drying all the top panels and body panels on this vehicle okay so now that we've dried the whole surface of the body of the vehicle we're going to move to the last step which is drying our wheels now you want to use a separate towel for drying your wheels because even though we've washed them and hopefully we've washed them well we still don't want to risk bringing any of that really dirty gritty uh, road film that could potentially still be in this area up onto our painted surface that we've just freshly washed and dried so I like to use these little smaller drying towels. This is, um, I believe it's called the Gauntlet Towel from the Rag Company. They're a similar um, pile. They're very uh, thick. Uh, they have a twist loop and a rag loop design, I believe it's called. And they're very thirsty, but they're in a little smaller, uh, more manageable size. So these are really good for doing around the spokes. And one thing I'll mention with any drying towel, whether it's for your wheels or any um, surface of the vehicle, if it's bone dry, sometimes they take a little bit of time to what I call prime the towel. So they actually work better once they've started to suck up a little bit more water. So you would think that they would be the best right off the bat, but that's actually not true. The water that's already in the towel seems to help attract more water into the towel. So they work a little bit better if they're already dampened before you go ahead and uh, start the, the drying process, or if you just give it a few minutes or a few moments rather to um, suck up some water, it'll eventually get easier and easier to dry that. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys in case you're struggling with uh, having your towel suck up water, it will get a little bit easier once you um, move through the drying process. And you can always go back and do any little streaks that are left behind from previous areas. But let's get to the wheels. So we're just gonna keep our towel folded and just do the face of the wheel here. And again, like I was just talking about, this towel is bone dry, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to suck up. But we basically wanna do the face here and then move to getting in around all the little spoke areas of the wheel. And with your wheels, it's not crucial to be absolutely perfect. We just wanna get the majority of the big water spots off to allow the wheel to dry and look a little bit cleaner. So now that we've done that, I would move all the way around to all four wheels and then that's it. We've done, uh, finished our process drying the vehicle. 
Hopefully you guys have learned a little bit more um, than you used to about drying your vehicle. If you have any additional questions, please don't ever hesitate to reach out to us. And uh, we thank you for watching and we will see you at the next video. Take care.